live with Jack at Silent Classics here at Goodwood and Jack has got two very, very sexy cars here. Not only has he got the 240Z electric, but the Fiat 500, which you built in how many days? Two, two weeks, just over two weeks, yeah. Wow, that it's quite, is... It's quite stressful. Yeah, so it came back from the body shop, paint on it, uh, but a bare shell, so we had to do suspension, brakes, interior, 12 volt system, conversion, you know, the whole shabam in, in a very short amount of time. And this is with one of your conversion kits, I take it? Yeah, conversion kit, exactly, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's, that, I mean, bearing in mind how long everyone knows my car is taking, that just goes to show that having an EV conversion kit, which is specific for the car, just shows how much easier and time-wise be better. So what, uh, in terms of the actual conversion itself, you, you've taken two weeks, but what's, what's the kind of cost of the kit and the labor that you would charge someone who's already got a lovely refurbished car that doesn't need spray? So if you've got a lovely car, um, we charge 28K plus VAT for a conversion. And the conversion can take anywhere from, gosh, it's really hard to tell because usually we find lots of other things we need to do to the car. But uh, I mean, we're, yeah, we've proven that we can, we can convert one of these pretty quickly. Um, but right now we are pretty busy. So um, what was the kind of lead time with Silent Classics at the moment? So for, for Fiat, because they're so small and dinky, we can squeeze them in. Uh, we're probably looking around six months. So it's not too bad. No, that's awesome. And uh, you can do stuff like upgrade the brakes. Are there any other yeah. sort of key upgrades that people tend to go for? So we always upgrade the brakes and, we, and the front suspension. We put a large leaf spring on the front. And those are the main two ones. And also we put CV joints and upgraded uh, drive shafts to the rear. And that's all within that price? Uh, brakes are uh, an optional extra. Yeah. Uh, but the, the drive shafts are, are included. Awesome. Obviously, I'm here to see this butte. Yes. Now, um, if we duck down, Steph's uh, doing the camera for me. Thanks, mate. Take me through the interior and this new screen. The interior, I mean, after you copied my brown seats, <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I might have to- uh, uh, Excuse me. What? I think you copied me, actually. Well, let's, you know, let's just agree yeah. to disagree. <laughs> these, these carpets look very similar to what I was thinking, actually. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, t take me through it, mate. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's 99% finished. So we've got, um, yeah, so this is quite quite different from a standard 240Z. Um, first thing you notice is the gauges are they are analog uh, CAN bus gauges. Wow. Uh, um, and they are displaying stuff like volts, uh, battery percentage, amperage, motor and battery temperature, and um, speedo there and uh, amp gauge. Um, and then coming down here, we have ourselves a nice tablet. So it used to be a, an old-fashioned kind of heated dial thing here, that, which was more, way more recessed. So we made this panel here. Uh, we draw this on, on CAD, it took us so long to get the shape right, to, to get it all integrated. Um, so that's for the tablet which displays, you know, it's mainly for, for in, infotainment, so it's got, you know, uh, Spotify and, and maps. It will display some of the uh, EV stuff as well, the bit they tron. Okay, cool. And then coming down, we've got, uh, this is a billet aluminium centre console that we made. Um, so actually, that's actually where the gear stick used to be, but we've moved the gear stick back here. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we've got drive mode, so we've got eco, which is a nice, you know, tame map, um, and sport, which is pretty darn rapid, and then the famous drift mode. Nice, you like that? <laughs> oh, I love um, drift. So the the motor setup in this has got a two-speed um, transmission, so we put it in low gear, and we get about four thousand newton meters of torque. Um, so it's kind of like a, a silly burnout mode where you just want to show off. Nothing silly about that, mate. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got simple stuff like heater controls and uh, volumes and, and that, stuff like that. That's awesome, mate. And I really like the uh, the steering wheel with the new, yes. if you'd uh, focus on the steering wheel, Steph, uh, the new Silent Classics logo, which I love. But mate, I mean, you've even got the cup holders. What, what, what more do you even need? Got cup holders, yeah. And this is our forward and reverse switch. So that's forward and that's reverse. So no, uh, I don't really, I'm not a fan of, um, I'm not really a fan of, uh, buttons no i think they're just annoying and clumsy mm. this is really positive we use uh, magnets for this and it works really well that, that's something i want on my conversion mate so maybe i have to uh, we, can, we can sort you we can do it talk talk sure. talk, talk uh, sure. yeah talk business on that but yeah. yeah so with regards to the how are you controlling the uh lex uh, sorry the toyota slash lexus uh hybrid gearbox slash motor so it's uh, an open source controller um made mainly by damien mcguire um and it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's controlled uh, by a BCU called the Zombie Verter, which works really, really well. It's got loads of different features that we're uh, implementing. So we're also using uh, BMW i3 uh, rapid charging in this, okay. um, which that also supports. It's got a custom BMS that we made. Yeah. Um, 
So yeah, it's got yeah custom BMS. It's got a Tesla uh, brake booster. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so it's a it's a it's a mix match of lots of different OEM no, components. No. Yeah, that's the what I was going for as well. What's yeah. the max charging speed on DC for this? Uh, so, well, seventy kilowatts. Wow, yeah. that's decent. And uh, what's the voltage of this vehicle? Uh, so nominal is six hundred. Six hundred. And what's the what, remind me what the kilowatt hour battery pack size is? So it's thirty six. So it's quite okay. a small pack. We've Have got... you tested range yet? Not yet, no. We've got front and rear packs, we've got 50-50 weight distribution. Awesome. Um, and at being 600 volts, we get torque all the way up to you know, 100 miles an hour, it still pulls ridiculously well. Really? Yeah, it's, it's, wow. it's really, really fast. Um, I've had the wheels spinning at like 50 miles an hour, and, and uh, that's why the seats are brown, just in case uh, Absolutely. any soiling happens. Yeah. That, that, that's what I was going for yeah. mine, yeah. uh, as you know. Yeah. Uh, but no, what, uh, what the plans other than just keep testing it? Have you, what, have you got any more? Do you know what, uh, funny enough, I've had so many people ask is it for sale on this show we've really? been here three days and i've had over 20 people say what so how what much how is? much how much 200 grand mate do you reckon 200 oh yeah, yeah. do it yeah. do it i think once it's done i think you know yeah well i think it's realistically over... what's it worth i mean what is a classic 240z worth um I a mean, good one probably about this would probably be worth 50 maybe 60. this is 150 grand all, all day yeah. isn't it? the thing Got is it's, it's it's taken for the right almost three thousand hours Wow! So don't, don't work that out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you start working it out. Well, then, yeah. I mean, it, yeah. Three thousand times. Uh, what's your hourly rate? It's well, got to be hundred. Seven quid. <laughs> <laughs> Only to yourself. Yeah. No, mate. That is that is fantastic, and I'm so glad that I've managed to uh, find you at the event. Obviously, yeah, well, we've we've on. seen Jack's car many times in in lots of different states. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I'm really, really looking forward not only to seeing this on the road and obviously having a drive as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe. And uh, also to see what else uh, you've got in the mix. Have you got any other other ideas, any other conversions you're doing, yeah, any we've other got, we've got, um, projects? Fiat, lots of Fiat's happening. And we've got a DB6, which we're just starting. Uh, we've got a Bentley S2, uh, an SS Jaguar, and a uh, Bond bug. And yeah, yeah, lots of fun. And you've got your own YouTube social yeah, we're, videos? We're, yeah, we're kicking off our YouTube. We've been a bit lazy recently, but um, it's really hard to do YouTube and actually get work done. Uh, I found this, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't end up like him. <laughs> but no, Jack, thank you so much for showing us and taking us through the uh, vehicle. And I'm really looking forward to seeing it out on the road and some more shows. Brilliant. Well, thanks for coming. It's soon. good to see you again. No, good man. Thank you. Cool. So we're here still at the Goodwood Revival and we're just at the Banzo uh, well, stall and uh, basically what Banzo do is they convert cars like these, the Fiat 500 and the Beetle, through electric classic cars, so bound to be a quality conversion. Uh, one's a net gain motor in the Beetle, the other one's an AC style, uh, smaller power net gain which um, Moggy normally uses. Um, it's the same company that own the electric Ferrari I went in in another episode so check that out so they basically convert cards um, and then they sell them so you know to make things a bit quicker a bit easier uh, for people that want an EV conversion um, and like I said done by electric classic cars Moggy so bound to be a quality conversion but yeah Banzo so I've not actually heard of them before so it's quite a nice uh, quite a nice treat to actually see uh, these guys here, but yeah, I mean quality wise looks like a, a Nice bit of kit so they source the cars and then they convert them essentially But there we go. Let's go and find Moggy and go and see what he's got going on Good touching! All right so we're here at the electric classic car stand. Moggy was here earlier, just having a chat with Tim about chargers, which uh, is right up my street these days. Um, now we've seen, everybody's seen Moggy's Land Rover Defender, which is an amazing bit of kit. And uh, his VW pickup, which is amazing too. But what really took my eye is the Maserati here. This is a Maserati Ghibli. It's 260 brake horsepower because it's two Hyper 9s in line together 
apparently they've just sent away the gearbox and they're waiting for that to come back and then they're going to start testing it but this is 260 brake horsepower it's a 53 kilowatt hour pack and it's a type 2 charge no dc they'll have 150 mile range it's a real thing of beauty it's it's a manual of course uh, for the gearbox uh, to work with the um, twin motor setup I'm sure that Moggy will be having it on his channel very very soon but it really is absolutely amazing we're right at the end of the show now so everyone's kind of dispersing it's been a real mix of weather one minute it's so unbelievably sunny sweats dripping down the back and the next minute it's raining and then it's sunny again but there we go I'm gonna take a bit of footage of a couple of other vehicles here but no doubt we'll be seeing this on Moggy's channel soon. So here we have the Sabring. Uh, it's not an EV conversion, this is an electric car. It'll be a brand new electric car because it'll have brand new batteries and it's on a skate platform which has been developed with Felton. So the batteries are nice and low, so good for stability. It's got DC charging at the back, which max speed is 70 kilowatts. Um, and basically they're doing them on the 356 uh, Cabriolet and the 356 Coupe and also the Austin Healey. In the back here, they've got the Tesla Model 3 motor and they've used the 2021 and onwards model. Uh, motor because it's more efficient and um, yeah I mean it looks absolutely it's like brand new because it is brand new it looks really really smart what they've done here I'd like to get some more information if I can um, and love to see a finished uh, finished example and maybe if I'm really lucky they might let me have a drive of one one day we've got a finished uh, example here which is the speedster so kind of similar to the chisel in look but not the same underneath so rather than the EV conversion uh, equipment fitted into the vehicle it's on a skateboard design which I, I do feel that a lot of EV uh, classic cars will go that way so I think they're onto a bit of a winner there um, other than the, I suppose the only negative is that they will all drive very similarly that is literally a wrap thank you very much for watching everyone and um, I will see you next time.